Black Panther has brought to life a new chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's refreshing, innovative, and full of compelling characters. It also helps pave the way for Marvel's next on-screen adventure, with Avengers Infinity War in a few key ways. Let's take a look at how Black Panther sets the stage for the third Avengers extravaganza. A new Smarty the MCU is built upon a sturdy foundation of super geniuses, including Tony Stark and Bruce Banner, two men of science who are responsible for much of the technology and innovation that makes the superheroics of Marvel possible. Heck, Tony's dad Howard is another great Marvel genius and one of the men responsible for the creation of Captain America. In the wake of Black Panther, though, there's a new smartest kid on the block. And we mean kid in the most literal sense. Shuri, T'Challa's 16-year-old sister, has now been established as the smartest person in the MCU, which means she'll have the edge on innovation from here on out. And who knows, maybe she'll get to cross paths with Peter Parker, the other teen genius of the MCU. Woo! Let's go! A new shield. Captain America's original shield was forged from vibranium, which meant it could withstand bullets, explosions, and everything else his foes threw at him. But at the end of Civil War, Tony Stark demanded he return the shield that his father had designed, and it's unlikely he'll pick it back up before the Infinity War. However, since he's taken refuge in Wakanda, T'Challa is going to be pinching off another piece of vibranium to make Cap a new shield before the big battle begins. And get this man a shield. And from the looks of the Infinity War trailer, he's gonna like it. Let's go. Bucky is back. One of the other significant cliffhangers at the end of Civil War is the fate of Bucky Barnes, the former Winter Soldier and Cap's best friend. While he's begun to remember his past after being brainwashed by Hydra, some of his programming still remains. The film ends with him going into cryogenic slumber to wait it out while a cure is developed. Black Panther's second post credit scene provides some revolution with the revelation that Bucky is back. Only now, he's going by Shuri's nickname for him, White Wolf. Considering he's shown sporting a new arm in the teasers for Infinity War, there's a good chance he'll have Shuri to thank for the spiffy prosthesis. The Soul Stone Most of the Infinity Stones have been found in the Marvel Cinematic Universe so far, except for the Soul Stone. With Black Panther marking the last film before Infinity War, many have drawn the conclusion that the Soul Stone may be hiding away in Wakanda. It's been suggested that the stone may lie in the heart of the massive vibranium deposit under Wakanda, granting the metal its multitude of special abilities. From the previews, it looks like Thanos is going to pay the once-hidden nation a visit in Infinity War. So what else would bring him into town but the bobble he's been after? Ready to fight Between its various tribes, the Dora Milaje and Black Panther himself, Wakanda is a military force to be reckoned with. Its policy of isolation has kept it from war with the outside world, so we've yet to see what a collective Wakanda would look like in battle. The film's climax gave us a peek at this, but even then we were only seeing a couple of tribes in the Dora Milaje. Of course, the trailers for Infinity War have given us some hint as to how massive a full-scale Wakandan army might be. And in the wake of Black Panther, the nation's policy of isolationism has ended, so they'll now be sharing their technology and resources with the world, which means Earth's defenses just got a lot more promising. The Wakandan weaponry in Black Panther is shown to be second to none, heavily utilizing vibranium and the technology Shuri and her team have built around it. With an entire lab full of toys Shuri has designed and an alien invasion coming their way, Wakandan vibranium weaponry will be a must for the team and may end up being the only reason our heroes stand a chance against Thanos. A new team leader one of the cool things about the MCU's Avengers is that they really do seem to function as a sort of miniature democracy. Of course, that team dynamic has significantly shifted in the wake of Civil War, and it looks like Infinity War will bring even more changes to the group. One seems all but certain. If T'Challa joins the Avengers, there may be a new sheriff in town. It's not that T'Challa will install himself as the team's benevolent dictator or anything, but more likely, since he's a literal king, he probably isn't going to be taking a subordinate position as an Avenger. It seems far more likely that we'll see him step up and take on the responsibility of leadership for the new Avenger refugees. And who knows, maybe he and Iron Man will become equals in head honcho status. Either way, don't expect him to be relegated to coffee runs. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.